Hey there and welcome back to the channel, this is Mills Gaming, here with something that if you're part of the Hunter community you are definitely talking about today, it is the release of Pumas, Mountain Lions, Cougars, whatever you want to call them, into the Hunter Classic. It's awesome. It's awesome. I have spent almost the entire day hunting these with my friend and we have shot a few between us. We got a couple of 15 score scoring males as our firsts, which was pretty awesome. As you can see here, there's some screenshots, there's new trophy poses, there's new scent lure, there's a new lure for the caller, and they are also attracted by the jackrabbit callers, etc for other predators which you'll see what they are attracted to listed here. This is just a quick little clip of the update on the blog for the Hunter Classic. As I said, me and my friend have spent all day hunting these things. They are extremely, extremely elusive. We shot four, but we did hear more, but they are very hard to track down and extremely flighty. As you can see here, new New items have arrived in the store to help you hunt this elusive predator, Puma Scent Spray and Puma Electric Cooler add-on, as well as the trophy shot poses which you saw at the beginning, a couple of those being used. On top of that, Puma has also been added to the list of animals that can be attracted using the Predator Jackrabbit Cooler, the Motion Predator Decoy with the Double Tail and the Rabbit Decoy. So if you've got a setup for the bobcats that you aren't using, you can use them for the mountain lions. They are absolutely beautiful models and I am going to include some of the clips from my hunt today, which I hope you'll enjoy. As I said, these things are extremely elusive. You will see where I am hunting them with my friend. You'll hear some of the calls, some of the vocalisations that aren't picked up by the hunter mate and just see what we were doing in order to attract them. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. So as you can see here, we are sat up on a ridge. We had got a call from a puma. Obviously at this stage we don't know if it's male or female because we're both obviously level one tracking and spotting. These are the first pumas that we are hunting. And we managed to call this one out using the Puma Sentler and the Jackrabbit Caller. Nothing else, nothing fancy, just sitting up on the ridge. And I shot it directly in the heart and double lung with the 9.3, which is a great gun for using on these guys. I found it drops them pretty darn quickly, if not immediately every time. I was going to use a bow, but they are almost impossible to get that close to unless you have all the correct gear, which neither me nor my friend at this stage had the Alpine camo. I'm still really new to the game. My buddy has played it a bit more. Um, you might see his name popping up as Tengo, but neither of us had the right camo technically. But we were still managing to get pretty close to a lot of the bighorn sheep and we managed to get pretty darn close to some of these cats at a few points even had a couple spook from right beside us but never managed to actually get on them to get a shot but like i said these things are extremely elusive and sneaky and they will just appear from nowhere i witnessed my buddy here he was literally hurt he had heard a puma call he was tracking looking for this thing and he just got a feeling and he turned around and there was one on the road behind him looking at his electronic caller. That was a really cool moment to see. I didn't manage to record it, but it was awesome. So here you can see some of the trophy shot poses. I was trying to get a decent look at them all, but the lying down ones are kind of difficult because unless you've got a completely flat ground, they kind of clip in, so that's a bit difficult. But the trophy poses for the pumas are absolutely gorgeous, I must say. And I really, really love the models. They look so well done. And also the vocalisations and everything for these big cats. It is just fantastic. I really, really, really love them. And I have seen some really big ones that have already been shot and a couple of rares, which is awesome. I definitely want to go and hunt rares. There is definitely melanistics because one has been shot. And I'm 99.9% sure there are albinos and probably there is also the grey fur type. 
there is definitely dark red and common because we have shot those haven't seen any greys yet but i would suspect that there are because i would imagine that they'll be the same as in call of the wild which have the common dark red the gray albino and their listic variations so it'll be really interesting to see what we can actually find for these and i'm definitely going to be hunting these more they are extremely rewarding to hunt not only because of the satisfaction when you take one down but they pay extremely well i didn't get less than 100 gms for any of the pumas we harvested which was awesome considering that one of the ones was, that we harvested was a female and she still paid extremely well so these are definitely definitely worth hunting and i mean just look at that i think that looks absolutely fantastic such a cool pose but there you can see just how much this was being paid look at that it's such a great amount of money for one animal yes they take a long time to hunt they're extremely elusive that's why they pay so well so it, even if you you know come out and you shoot a few and they're not they're not mounters they're not rares it's definitely worth hunting them here was another situation where me and a friend got a call but we were in a bit more of a difficult situation trying to move between a couple of points and we weren't entirely sure where this animal was so we were scanning around looking and you will notice in this clip just how well this thing sneaks up and just how quickly it spooks it's not like the bighorn sheep where they'll walk right up to you they spook very quickly they're just <laughs> they're so so flighty i cannot stress this enough if you want to get close to bow hunt them you are going to need either tripods tree stands or correct camo and everything you can use because just like real life extremely good eyesight and yeah trying to find them is surprisingly hard they blend in extremely well the dark red ones stand out a little bit more i noticed when my friend shot one but the common ones they just blend in they like there look at how well that blends in and he knew straight away that something wasn't right and he was gone just like that gone i couldn't believe just how quickly he spooked considering how we were led and how it's just instant my friend at the time only had a uh, I think he was carrying a pistol and a bow, so he was trying to get it within a decent range. But yeah, like I said, you're going to need a good camo or something or a lot of patience to sneak up to these. We tried tracking a few that we spooked and they flee forever. And they will flee and not leave very many tracks. As you can see, right here by the base of this tree is where this puma was i was explaining to my friend here because he didn't see it exactly how it came through and then how it ran so you can see i was giving the directions and there was no track here the the only tracks that we could find were a little way down so they don't always leave tracks you know every few few meters like most animals do which we found to be a common theme when tracking these things so tracking them off tracks is really hard the way that we found worked best was to get a call and then set up and wait for the animal to come to you because otherwise you're going to be trying to find them for ages at this point we were trying to put a setup in a place and i came across this puma that had got stuck in these rocks which was extremely interesting for me to see them up close and actually see some of the animation because yeah like i said he was stuck it was only a small male so i took him with the bow just at point blank range but we were trying here to set up on part of the outcropping where we had in a in the previous hunt because we had been restarting the map a couple of times trying different things trying different times and this guy was in between where we were where we started and where we want to go to sit up in the setup that we had put we never got any to come to that setup in the end he was the only one that came from that area so we decided afterwards that we'd move the uh the setup 
but it was interesting to see that they will come onto these really rocky outcrops and you could probably see there still how well camouflaged he was again this is one of the common ones so it's a bit of a duller coat than say the dark red but you imagine if that was a gray just how well that's going to blend in and here you can see what i mean with the lying down poses the lying down poses are absolutely gorgeous but like i said it's kind of difficult because of the way they clip in and trying to get that to look good is really hard but like I said, they are absolutely beautiful. And if you could get one on, say, a road or just a flat piece of ground, they would be really good to use. So I hope in future that I will get to use it on one or two. I'm definitely, definitely going to be hunting these more. So if you are hunting any of the areas where you find the bighorn sheep, you're pretty much going to find these mountain lions. We found so many bighorn sheep whilst hunting these mountain lions. I even shot my first ram because I'll admit I have been lacking on hunting anything that's up in the mountains because I still don't have tents or anything so it's a long climb and I managed to get a 160 ram as my first big horn ram so I was pretty pleased with that but just look at how gorgeous that model is absolutely gorgeous and that noise there is something we were hearing a lot when the pumas were actually quite close to us hearing a lot of ambient sort of growls and almost lion-like deep roar noises which was really really cool and also we noticed that when we got too close to one and it fleed that it made a real hissing angry sounding noise so if you hear that you may either be about to be attacked or have one flee we never got attacked by one even though it does mention on the online blog that they will attack so we expect that it might be similar to how things like moose attack which is you know it can happen but it's not it's not always going to happen considering how close we ended up getting to some of these i would have expected that we would have got attacked but we didn't thankfully Here you can see exactly where we were hunting. All around this area we found a lot of puma activity. Calls, droppings, tracks, you name it, this is where we found the most pumas. We were walking along, mainly going along the railway bridges, and as you go through the railway tunnels, we noticed that you would quite often get a call as soon as you spawned in on the other side. Now, this female puma was the last puma of our hunt. And she was being extremely hard for my friend to spot, so I was trying to ping her for him. We got this call from her, from one of the railway bridges, tried calling her in, she didn't want to come in. She seemed to be trying to stalk the bighorn sheep that were up here at one point. And she was sticking up on this little ledge, and my friend just could not see her, because she is just so well camouflaged. I seem to have... A fairly good eye for spotting things maybe it's because i do a lot of wildlife spotting in real life so i'm just trained into spotting tiny little movements but i could see her clear as day and this gave me actually a really nice opportunity to just watch some of the animations again and just see what they would actually be doing when approaching you <laughs> which i just love i just love how sly and secretive these things are because you're not going to see one every five minutes but at the same time they're definitely findable which is something i really like it's a challenge but it's not impossible which is something we were saying through the whole hunt is it was you'd get one and then that's enough to keep you going until the next one especially considering the payout they give you know you could be shooting three or four bighorn small ones and get you know that sort of money or you could go and hunt one of these and see what you can find with one of these. They are extremely cool and an awesome addition to being up here in the mountains where it, it just adds a bit more life. But as you can see, it's just when you're looking through a scope, trying to spot them, they just blend in so perfectly well, these common ones. Like their fur is just exactly the right colour just to remain hidden. But she, to start off with, you can hear in the background, we have the e-caller playing with the new Puma attractant noises. 
And to start off with, she wasn't paying any attention to those. She was going off in her own direction. Like I said, she appeared to be trying to hunt some big horn that we had noticed going through the area. But after a certain amount of time, she finally did decide to pay attention. And you'll see her work her way towards us. And basically, she didn't stop. She just kept coming and coming and coming. But because of the, the size that they are, because they're not huge when they're actually stalking around, and they're so... I can't think of another word other than slinky. They can just go around those corners, blend in, and they will just appear on you. Because we were watching this female, I was trying to get my friend into a position where he could shoot her, and she just decided that she was coming down that hill, and then she got into these bits of dead tree, and then I lost her. And the next thing I know, she's on the ledge right in front of me, on this little ridge. You can see there's the dead trees led out across the grass in front of me, and that is where she ended up coming through. This whole time, we're still trying to get my friend into a good position where he can actually see her and shoot her. I'm at this point watching his stream, trying to direct him to her, and we're still having a, a terrible job trying to find her. I had my scope in exactly the right position. And you can see my friend here is trying to move into the same position as me to try and get an angle on her. But now I'll fast forward and you'll see her on her approach.
And then just to finish up, me and my friend decided to go and do a run on White Roan and I finally managed to get myself a mountain moose. I have hardly seen any bull moose. My my luck with moose has been terrible and then this guy popped out. A 215 mounter moose. He is huge and I am absolutely thrilled to have this now for the trophy lodge. Absolutely awesome. These moose are huge.